Um, today I will be presenting on Juan O'Gorman by Angelica Lloyds. Juan O'Gorman was an extremely lively and charming individual that won over people with his playful and fun demeanor. His ever-curious mind never allowed him to truly settle on one firm career path, and he reinvented himself a thousand times, until living amongst inconsistencies made his own existing something unbearable, and he came to a very unfortunate theatrical demise. His legacy was very multifaceted, and he delved into a wide array of fields that ended up both meaning everything and nothing all at once. In the Mexican cultural scene, he objectively was a pioneer, yet he received no real recognition for his successes as an architect, as a mosaic artist, as a critic, as a painter, as a muralist, and even as a professor. Despite having such inconsistent areas of interest, he was successful in each at different times of his life. However, Mexican modernization wanted nothing to do with uprisings and revolutions, and as a result, the only thing left behind was the reputation of a cursed artist. Education and Occupation O'Gorman was exposed to drawing and composition at a very early age through his father, Cecil Crawford O'Gorman. He was a well-known Irish painter who settled in Mexico. Despite this artistic influence, he still chose to pursue architecture early in his career. Here's an example of one of his father's paintings. In 1927, he graduated from the School of Architecture of National Autonomous University of Mexico. Ogorman began designing spare rectilinear houses and buildings in the functionalist style inspired by the architect Le Corbusier. Ogorman worked as chief draftsman for Carlos Santaia and other architects in Mexico City until 1932, at which time he became head of Department of Building Construction for Mexico City and professor of architecture in the National Polytechnic Institute. He founded a school within the Instituto Politecnico Nacional in order to train what he called engineer architects, and he was responsible for the functionalist design and construction of about 30 schools. I will describe his architectural approach through these three distinct cases that are very iconic and unique to him. His journey began in San Angel, which is actually his hometown, the first client being his father. He built the first modernist house in Mexico. This project didn't have much of an impact, however. The only thing it received was a lot of criticism from neighbors that demanded for his architectural degree to be revoked. Following that was a house that he created for his friend Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. They were both co-conspirers in the rebellion and figureheads in the Mexican cultural scene. And with Rivera's support, the architect received the necessary impetus for his cause. I do not have images for the functional schools. However, between 1932 and 1934, he worked for the Department of Education under O'Gorman. 28 functional schools were built on the same budget that it would have taken to create one singular school. Both properties his father's and Diego Rivera's, were completed by O'Gorman, who were heavily influenced by the 20th century architect Le Corbusier, both in the functionalist modernist style. Under the auspice of the Mexican Revolution, he proposed a truly social and functionalist architecture that he called the engineering of buildings, in which he took the extreme principles of minimum cost and maximum efficiency. He created an architecture of sparsity, of cubic volumes with exposed concrete slabs and columns, brick walls and, that were rendered and painted in cheap and popular colors, large window openings that were divided into smaller and expensive panes. Everything 
possible to reduce costs and maximize the overall efficiency of the buildings and structures he created. Under Gorman, one of the prime examples as mentioned previously, the fact that he was able to create 28 functionalist schools in the budget that it would have taken previously to just create one. Holistically, Ogborman was an extremely talented individual whose life was never truly valued or cherished for the great architect, so creative, muralist, professor, mind that he was. Thank you so much for this presentation. I hope you have a good day.